Kenny, how do you begin to sum up that match? Um, it's, a, it's a tough one just now. It's, you know, listen, it's just a bit of elation towards the end there. Um, relief, you know, hanging in the last few minutes, but I think we defended everything outstandingly the whole game. Nullified their threats and um, can maybe do a wee bit better going forward, we know that, but defending from the front from Dykesy throughout the whole team, the lads that done the shift from the start as a, a squad effort and that's what it showed today you know we made subs and we got back in the game and we got a result that we can be proud of. You mentioned how proud you are it was a tough old game out there you're going up against a couple of the best players in the world it's uh, extremely hot how did you you handle that and how are you how proud of you are of the squad? Yeah it was listen watching on was tough so I don't know how the lads felt it was a uh, it was, it was a tough, tough game, you know, the, the conditions made it even harder, we knew they were going to come at us, it was, it was one that we knew they were going to come out and try and win from the start and they'd done that, but I think as I say, the way we defended was outstanding um, and we always gave ourselves that chance in the game and, and we went and took that chance. Now talk us through the moment you, you were coming on, what was the message from, from the boss at that point? Obviously we just went one down and it was a, it was a tough moment in the match and we wanted to be a bit more control in the game. We brought Billy on. I thought he changed the game. To be honest, I thought Billy was outstanding when he came on, um, getting on the getting on the ball. I told him there was a space in there for him to get on the ball between the their forward players and the midfielders, and he done it. Uh, he got us going forward. Then if you look at the first goal, it's Scott McTominay turning in that half space, and it McGinn then slips it through. And we get a bit of fortune, but uh, you know when you're coming on, the manager always speaks about the squad being so big, and especially conditions like that, you need to use all the subs here advantage and you just wanted to bring that energy to the game and hope for that little bit of quality and thankfully we could. How delighted are you with, with your goal? I mean, pinpoint accuracy, but it seemed like it took an age to trickle over that line. Yeah, the Dykes' was longer, to be fair. That was, I thought the defender was getting back to that. Um, no, listen, the set for Dykes' is perfect. I think if I miss it, it goes down as a massive chance. So thankfully it went in. Uh, just happy to be there. I think um, the lads that played the whole game and, and worked so tirelessly, I think they all deserve that because what they put in that game was outstanding and I think we've worked the last two and a bit weeks now for this moment and, and it's uh, it's paying off. Just quickly, this is a, a squad that won't get carried away with this, it will be a smile on the face tonight but all eyes on Georgia on Tuesday. Yeah, the manager won't let us get carried away, the manager and staff and that, that's how things are, we, we've got a game so quickly, we, we can... I mean, we can enjoy it, but not enjoy it too much because we know how quickly the next game's coming around and we know how important it can be for this campaign. So it's about just trying to be at a position every opportunity we get. And just how good were the Scotland fans today? Yeah, uh, I can't remember what song it was that came on in the warm-up, but they were absolutely bouncing. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure a few of them were sunstroke just now, but listen, hopefully we've sent them away with a smile on their face because they deserve it. Well, well done, Kenny, and hope you don't wipe that you, smile man. off your face for Thank a wee you while. Thank you very much, cheers. Steve, how do you sum up that match? Three points, uh, decent performance. Obviously disappointing to lose a penalty and go one down, but I, th I thought the game we were, we were decent. We didn't we didn't concede too many big chances. Uh, possession was better than it was against Spain. We, we kept the ball better. We kept it with a little bit more composure, and you see that in the first goal. We passed the ball really well. I know the, the dynamic of the game changes when Norway decide to sit and wait for us, but we managed to punish them not once but twice, which is which is great for everybody. How proud of you of the team to keep going for that 90 minutes, to do it in testing conditions against some very stern opposition? No, it's a, it's, listen, it's a hard shift, 32 degrees or whatever it was, a kick-off. It didn't get much cooler during the game, I can tell you, just look at the state of my head. Uh, we, believe, we believe in what we're doing. Uh, I speak all the time about the strength of the squad, the strength of this group of players. They want to do well for the country. They show that every single time they go to the pitch and they keep believing. And when you're in a good moment, Sometimes thing, things go in your favour, and that's, that's certainly the case for us just now. It was a packed away end today. It's set to be a packed Hamden Park on Tuesday night. Just how great were the fans today? Yeah, it's great. We come away from home, the Tartan Army's there. You know they're going to shout and cheer you on. They got behind the team when we're down 1-0. They realised that they need a little bit of help. Nice. Hope they don't go crazy tonight, because it will be very expensive. <laughs> well done, Steve. Thank you.